Hi everyone, I just finished Estee Book Crawl 2023. For those of you that don't know, San Diego Book Crawl is an event uh, where you go and visit 13 participating bookstores in San Diego and you can get prizes along the way. It only lasts three days. It's from April 29th to May 1st. Uh, so you have those three days to get to as many of the bookstores as you can. I It's three o'clock, almost four o'clock, and we managed to hit all 13 bookstores in one day. It was a lot and I had my husband to help me, but it was a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna go over the books that I got from each store. And yeah, I highly recommend this event. It's so much fun if you're ever in San Diego or if you ever wanna come down to San Diego to try this event out. I definitely recommend it because it's a lot of fun and a great way to meet the bookstores as well as to get a lot of book recommendations and to get books as well. So for the first store that you go to, the first technical prize is the passport. This is the passport that they stamp, that you get stamped along the way uh, so that you can get your prizes. So the first bookstore that we went to was Bay Books Coronado. And these were the two books that I got from Bay Books. We got there right at nine in the morning. It's funny because we got there early. I thought that they opened at eight in the morning and I was wrong. Luckily, there's a lot to do in Coronado. So we hung around, went to Panera, got some food. Um, Jack had a really nice, Jack, my dog, Australian Shepherd, he had a really nice time. So uh, we just hung around until for an hour until 9 a.m. when they opened and there was actually a line already. So for anybody that's interested in doing this event, be wary that there might be some lines. The books that I got from Bay Book, I got two. I had planned ahead of time that I wanted to get two travel books. I am going to Japan next month, so I wanted to get a couple of more books. I already have a few travel books for Tokyo, but I wanted to get a couple more, so I got these two. Yeah, so I did. we did move quickly through the stores because I wanted to try to get all of the prizes won. I also wanted to um, just get it all done in one day. You have three days to complete the event, but I wanted to do it all the first day. I got top 10 Tokyo lists for the perfect trip and then Tokyo like a local. I'm excited to read these. I have already done extensive homework on my trip for Japan, so I might know just about everything that's in these books, but hopefully it teaches me something new. So I'm excited to read them. From the first bookstore, they were offering I believe this is an advanced copy, an ARC. They were offering ARCs to, I think, the first customers that were there. And then you had a choice between fiction and nonfiction. So I got the nonfiction ARC. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I love it when they wrap it in newspaper and stuff. It's, it just gives it such a character. So the advanced reader's copy that I got, How to Win the War on Truth. This is interesting. Again, they did offer two. It was nonfiction and fiction. I did pick the nonfiction. So it looks, look really interesting. I wonder if it has anything to do with social media. Probably. How to recre Reclaim Reality. Very interested in this. So these were the three books that I got from the first bookstore. This one was free and then I paid for these two. The next bookstore that I went to was Libe Lula. It's a really cute bookstore in Barrio Logan area. It has a lot of character on the inside. We even saw a cat. Super cute. And this was the book that I got. There were a lot of different books there. Um, this one caught my eye the most. Go back to where you came from. Um, and it's a memoir. So I am excited to read this one. Cause and then the next stop the next bookstore that we went to was the library shop and I got this book. I'm a little sad because the third stop is where you get the sticker and we were kind of moving fast and they had just opened up and uh, they didn't give me my sticker and I didn't notice it or ask for it so no big deal. So I didn't get the sticker um, but that's okay. This is the book that I got and I had this on my TBR list. I had it on Goodreads. I had seen it before on Instagram, so I there are a couple books that I knew to keep an eye out for. 
that I had seen previously that I wanted to get and this was one of them. So I am excited to read this book. The next bookstore that we went to was the Book Catapult and I got this book. I got The Cat Who Saved Books. This one really caught my eye. I love the Book Catapult. I like to go uh, randomly just to pick up a book. Currently I am reading Cloud Atlas and I had got that book from the Book Catapult and I'm very much enjoying that book. What I like about that store is that there are there are a lot of books that catch my eye. So I did have a hard time picking a book, but I needed to move quickly. This one was the one that stuck out to me the most, and I'm glad that I got it. I When we had left the store, I was reading the synopsis to my husband, and I just got really excited. I think this might be the one that I'm going to read first, but we'll see because I have to go through all of the books that I've got. So this is the book I got from the book Catapult. The next bookstore that I went to was Verbatim. Meet Cute. Just kidding. I went to Meet Cute. So after the book had a fall, I went to Meet Cute. Look at the bag. Isn't it super cute? Another bookstore I highly recommend. This is a great bookstore to get romance books. So the book that I had on my list, I'm going to put it up so you can see. I had previously seen this book on their Instagram that I wanted to get and I picked it up. It was even a signed autograph copy. But when I was in line, I saw this book and they had a little tag that had uh, notes from one of the booksellers from the shop talking about what this book's about and it really caught my eye so I ended up switching the books and I got this one instead and I'm glad I did because this one I'm really excited to read this one uh, yes yeah, so this is the book I got from me cute so the next bookstore that I went to they are right next to each other you could walk from me cute to verbatim and I got this book. Verbatim is actually a used bookstore, but they do have some new books. And I got this one mainly because of the author. I've heard good things about this. I mean, everybody knows about this author, so I wanted to get one of his books. Yeah, Verbatim was the sixth bookstore that I went to. So I got this book from Verbatim. And then because it was my sixth bookstore, I got the tote. I was really excited to get this tote that this was like the main thing I really wanted besides the final um, prize but I wanted this one because I did do part of San Diego book crawl last year and I did manage to get the tote last year I think. so this is the 2022 San Diego book crawl uh, tote I had got this one last year and I was really glad that I did I didn't do all, I believe it was 11 bookstores last year and this year it's 13. Um, so I just managed to get the tote and then this year it's a 2023. So I'm really happy that I got this tote. I can't wait to show it off. Okay, so then the next bookstore on the list after verbatim, we went to Blue Stocking, which is another used bookstore. And I got these two books, this one, Caught my eye, they had it up on the shelf and you could see it just like this. I'm like, oh, okay, this, this just looks interesting. If I wanna plant some fruit, I have a reference guide now. Uh, so I got this book and then technically I only needed to get one. Again, it was only a $10 minimum purchase, but this one also caught my eye. I got Leonardo da Vinci's Notebooks. I can't wait to read this one. I read the synopsis and I was just hooked and I was debating whether I should get one or the other. I just ended up walking. Uh, I just ended up buying both, so and I'm glad I did. So these are the two books I got from Blue Stocking. The next bookstore that I went to was Mysterious Galaxy. I love Mysterious Galaxy. They have a lot of YA, fantasy, mysterious novels. Very good store, and they have a huge selection. You're guaranteed to walk out with more than one book from that store. It's awesome. I just, it has so much character. They have a lot of events. So if you're ever in San Diego and you love books, go to Mysterious Galaxy. I highly recommend it. So I got this one, the Tatami Galaxy. And then while I was in line, I told myself only get one book because I only needed to buy just one to hit the $10 mark. But while I was in line, they had a table of, um, books that were wrapped that you don't know what the title is and 
this one was just staring at me and I almost switched the books. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just get this instead of this one. But I really wanted the Tatami Galaxy and this one just caught my eye. Romance, Cozy Kiki's Delivery Service, Studio Ghibli Vibes, Grumpy Sunshine. I'm like, okay, that's me. So I got this book. Let's open it up. They wrap it so cute. So cute. I cannot wait to read this book. I love the vibes of it and I just love like, I think it's called a date with a book or a blind date with a book, I believe is what it's called. So I'm excited to read this one. These are the two books that I got from Mysterious Galaxy. Yes. The next bookstore that we went to was Joyride Bookshop. This is a children's book shop, but children's books are really cool. I got this one. It looks super interesting. Look how beautiful it is. It really caught my eye and there were a lot of books there that caught my eye because they're all just so colorful and vibrant and they grab your attention, but this one captured me. So I'm very excited to read this one. I don't even want to open it yet because I want to actually enjoy it. So this is the book that I got from Joyride Bookshop. The next bookstore that I went to was La Playa Bookstore. What is so from La Playa Bookstore, I got three stickers. I'm planning on like scrapbooking this event, so I wanted to get some stickers that I could put in the, the scrapbook and the notebook. Um, and this is the book that I got from La Playa. I could not decide what book I was going to get there. First, it was packed at La Playa. The line was huge and there's a lot of books in there. It's very dense. So there was a lot to choose from. The table in front of the cashier, that was the table I was mainly looking at because they had new books. La Playa is a used bookstore. They have a lot of great used book selection, but I was interested in more in a new book. Um, I will put the two books that I was looking because I can't remember off the top of my head what I had initially grabbed. This one really caught my eye and I'm learning that short stories are great because you can feel like you succeeded in reading a book. Sometimes long books can be discouraging because it feels like you're taking forever to read it. Um, so you know, you never know what phase you're in with reading books and right now I think I'm in like that short book phase. We'll see. So I got this one and then I also got the three stickers. I forgot to mention, so Joyride was, Joyride was my ninth, Joyride was my ninth book, uh, bookshop visit. And so for the ninth visit, you get this pen. So this was the next prize that you got. The first being the passport, the third being the sticker, which I didn't get. Sixth being the tote, which I did get. And then ninth being the pen. So I'm really excited that I got the pin. It's super cute. I mentioned at La Playa, I got three stickers in the book. And they were also giving away, at La Playa, they were also giving away free arcs uh, for the first, I don't know how many customers were there. So let's open it up. Ooh, this is, wow, this is, look at this. This looks interesting. Kaleidoscope. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it already got my attention. I can't wait to read this book. This is, this looks really good. Okay. So this is the arc, the free arc that I got from La Playa. So after La Playa, we went to Warwick Bookstore that is in La Jolla. Got it right here. They have a cute little bag. Warwick's is interesting. They always talk about, they mention on their Instagram and stuff, that they are a really old family-owned bookstore established in 1896. That's crazy. So here's Warwick. Again, Warwick was another bookstore that I was fighting myself on what book I wanted to get. I will put the two other books that caught my eye that I really wanted, but I just didn't get because I really wanted this one. I've had this on my TBR list for a long time. Saw this first at the Book Catapult, I believe. Um, so I knew I wanted this book. I love Greta Thunberg. I think she's incredible. This one ended up winning. So 
This is the book I got from Warwick. So that was the 11th bookstore that we went to that leaves two left. So the next one that we went to was UCSD bookstore inside UCSD, University of California, San Diego. That's a huge campus. It is also a very beautiful campus. Luckily, the bookstore is right next to the Gilman parking structure. So if you're ever going to come down and visit that bookstore, highly recommend it. That's where they sell all the UCSD gear. They have books and stuff for school, notebooks and stuff. Highly recommend it. Super nice. I also recommend visiting the campus because it's beautiful. And while you're at it, go ahead and visit the SDSU campus as well. So this is the book I got from UCSD. This has been on my TBR for a while. I did want it in hardcover, but it was just here in paperback, so I just got it anyway. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to read this book. I heard that this book is like really magical feeling and you can get lost in it. I'm needing those kind of books right now, books that I can get lost in. So I am excited to read this book whenever I get to it because there is a long list that I have going already. Now on to the final bookstore, the 13th, the last one that I got to and where I got the final prize is Diesel and Del Mar, the bookstore. I got this one. There were also a couple of books that caught my eye on the tables there. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to get, um, but I read the uh, synopsis for this one and this one caught my eye the most, so I, I got this one. Um, they gave me a lot of freebies because I was their first final, I was the first person to be getting the last prize uh, at that shop, so they were like, very impressed because we did move very quickly and I had my husband to help me out. He would drop me off at some of the bookstores and like drive around in circles and then I would run back out. So they gave me a lot of free stuff. So I got a sticker. I visited an independent bookstore because today, April 29th, is Independent Bookstore Day. And then I also got, they gave me these stickers for free. They're super cute. This is great because then I can put it in my scrapbook. And then they also, they gave me a lot of free stuff. And she literally said it. She goes, she goes, oh, I got to give you all the free stuff since you're on your last bookstore. I also got the, you guys. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Everything was moving so fast, okay? Like we wanted to hit all 13 bookstores in one day. There was a lot going on, you know, like driving, listening to music, having a good time. I did not even realize that they just gave me stickers for the book that I had just got. So cool. And I'm really excited about this book. I wish I mentioned that, but this is awesome. I'm really happy right now. Okay. I didn't notice that literally till right now. Okay. So those are the free stickers that I got. This was the book that I got. Very excited. And then the final prize you visit all 13 stores within the three days you get the mug it's super cute i'm so excited that i got it and i was just so relieved like at the end of all of it i'm like oh, i got the mug i did it because it was a lot of driving around and walking as well um but it was totally worth it a lot of fun and i highly recommend this event if you ever want to come visit san diego you should come during this time so that you can do this event as well but yeah, and on, on the back of the mug, it has the list of all of the bookstores that participated. So, super cute. That was it. These are all the books that I got from San Diego Book Crawl 2023. I hit all 13 stores. I started at, we technically got to Coronado at 8 in the morning. That was the first store that we went to. Um, but it didn't actually start till 9 in the morning. So it took us, we finished at 1.30, I believe. We started at 9 a.m. at Bay Books Coronado, and the last store we went to was Diesel, and we were there at 1.30. Again, this is, a, this is an event I highly recommend. If you live in San Diego, participate. You know, you don't have to go through all of the stores. You could just go to a few. Uh, but either way, you get some pretty cool prizes, and you also get books. You get some really cool books. Don't be afraid to ask the booksellers for a recommendation. Let them know what books you're into. They will find you a good book. I guarantee it. They are very knowledgeable on the selection. Again, I highly recommend it. So yeah, that was San Diego Book Crawl 2023. Thanks for watching.